Outfit of the day today is a beach dress. This is just something that you'd throw over a pair of swimmers. And I was inspired to drag it out because I was blow drying my hair and I actually spent some time on my hair, which is unheard of. If I can get my hair dried in less than three minutes, I'm happy. <laughs> so I spent a little time uh, curling and playing and swapping sides and all that kind of thing. I'm actually seriously considering a haircut soon. So uh, I'm just planning where the haircut will go in terms of the parting and stuff. Isn't it funny how we always tend to wear our hair on a certain side and sometimes changing it up can really uh, revolutionize the way you look. But anyway, um, I'm not saying this is <laughs> uber special, but it just gave me that 70s vibe and along with the 1920s, 30s, 40s, uh, the 1970s are my thing and anytime I can get a 70s vibe happening, I'm very happy. So this is an H&M beach dress. As I was saying, you just throw it over your swimmers. It normally comes down to about here, but what I did was I actually sewed it up so that I could just wear it as a deep V. I get reluctant to put necklaces into deep Vs. It depends on the fabric, the style, whatever else I've got going on in terms of jewellery, um, the hair, that kind of thing. But I just much prefer that bareness. So what I've done is I've put on this incredible earring that resonates with the resin in the uh, belt. And it's just a nice natural raffia belt with a shoe that's a little bit more elevated. I did try on a raffia sandal with this and it was just getting a bit dragging down. I think because I've got the sleeves long and I want them long, but this also looks fabulous with the sleeve pulled right up and using those little almost invisible elastic hair bands for plaiting, you can play with sleeves and create different silhouettes with them and not even see the band. So even pulling up and putting a band over the top here would look gorgeous. But today I wanted to go for something long. And I've also added some darker accessories. So a darker bracelet and a darker bag because when I added lighter stuff, it was just starting to get a little bit too matchy-matchy and I wasn't really feeling it, you know? Can you tell I'm playing with my hair? <laughs> I'm not used to having my hair done, it's not crazy. So that's the outfit of the day. I wanted something breezy. I have a skin colored, well, it's actually lighter than my skin color, uh, long little cami on underneath comes to about here and I must try to find one that's closer to my skin colour. I'm sure there's a fabulous business out there that does those, uh, that colour matching so do let me know if you know of one. Uh, and the reason I put a skin colour underneath is if you put white it just ruins the colour. You know this is like a deep sort of navy. Look how beautiful the fabric is. Love that the sleeves have got elastic and then a little tie here as well. So I want the navy to be able to shine and if you put white on underneath it just changes colour, black looks terrible so I've just kept it neutral. Then this darker bag really just gives a polished look to the whole thing. Uh, I did want to try a couple of necklaces and just show you how they look. So the first one would be to go for that 70s vibe. This I believe it's thrifted and I believe it's an authentic 70s beaded necklace. This is something my mum had you know. Uh, and I did put that on and to me, look, it looks nice, but it's just a bit too expected. You know, I don't like expected. And again, it just, I don't know, it just looks like great Auntie Flo just threw it on. And not that there's anything wrong with that. It just doesn't feel modern to me. So I would be more likely to wear this over a white shirt or nestled into the folds of a white shirt rather than a patterned dress like this. And then the other necklace that I thought might look great if you wanted to go for something brighter with gold, this beautiful textured Zara necklace can, it's a good length because it just fits into that little nook there. See that? So if I was going to go for something, I would do that. I would not have a belt or I'd have a belt that couldn't be seen. And I would probably in that case, if I had that amount of glamour happening here, that looks actually quite good, I like that. I would probably just caftan this and, uh, and wear it really loose and free floating. Um, yeah, or a crossbody bag over it might look really nice just to help draw it in on one side, I think would look good. And on that note with belting with a dress like this, because there's so much fabric in this skirt, when we put a belt on, there's a couple of little tricks 
to making it look a bit better. I like to really winch in, I figure why not. Now, if I pull that belt down right onto my natural waist, can you see how it's starting to poof out here? Especially if we pull the dress down and it's got less fabric up the top. Can you see how it poofs out the sides and makes me look wider than I am? So what I tend to do is first I pull up. So I blouse in the top. You can already see it starts to flatten. Then I pull the dress around to the front and around to the back so that there's less fabric on the side here. And the last trick is to pull the belt up so that your waist looks higher and the fabric falls a lot more fluidly here. So there you go, that's a little tip from moi. And of course I forgot my favorite sunnies, just a second. And nothing polishes off a 70s inspired outfit like this than a pair of retro sunnies. I think they're just perfect and they are lovely and neutral tying in with this neutral theme with the shoes and the belt and even the bag. So there you go, that's my outfit of the day. Uh, I am off for a quick shop and then I have a lot of book work to do. So I will be back when I can. Mwah! Peace.